Hi, I'm Sandy Sandler, the creator of the Bodabra Bowmaker. Today I'm going to show you how to make a super easy patriotic door swag. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do for this um, door swag is we've got, um, I've taken my velvet and I've already dovetailed the ends of it. And we have this USA um, banner that I picked up at the dollar store. I'm gonna just move that away and I've got my peel and stick here um, that I'm just gonna pull off. And I love this stuff because it absolutely holds everything. So I just put it right down the center and all I'm gonna do is stick my letters so that way they're, in, they're gonna stay in place and they're not gonna move, especially if this is outside in the wind. So I'm gonna take that and put it aside. Now we're gonna make our the swag part of our bow. Um, and I'm going to grab some Bodabra bow wire and I'm going to fold it in half and lay this down into my Bodabra and I'm just gonna tuck the ends underneath. Then I'm going to take my mesh and um, just going to just kind of roll the ends in here a little bit so that the fray part doesn't show. And we're just going to scrunch all this into the bow dabra. It just makes kind of like a big puffy bow. And I love the bow dabra for mesh because the mesh adds dimension to your bow and um, it's very inexpensive. So it gives us the dimension that we want without the high cost that we don't want. So now what I'm gonna do is take another piece of my velvet. I'm gonna take the right side, put that down into the bow dabra. I'm gonna fold it back over and scrunch that down and then just come to the center and scrunch that in. And we're gonna do exactly the same thing. Let me find my center on this. So I know where I want to um, put the center of my bow and I'm just gonna put a little crease there. Then I'm going to take the right side, put that down and lay that down into the bow dabra. I'm just gonna fold this back over, put the right side in again. And then I'm gonna come to the center crease that I made and we're just gonna scrunch everything in and we'll just sort of shape our our loops a little bit as I'm building it. Then I'm going to take my picks. We're just gonna lay these down in here so we have a cute little patriotic picks and our flowers. And now I'll take my salute ribbon and we'll just fold this back and forth. And if you want to know where to purchase the supplies, we have everything in our description below. So we'll fold this back over, so I'm gonna twist, and we're just gonna fold and twist. And if it's your first time watching me on um, Bodabra, please click the subscribe um, button and or follow us on Facebook. And also let me know if it's your first time watching, where you're watching from, and how you heard about Bodabra. So I'd love to hear from you. And we're going to just fold and twist, whoops, twist it. Bring this back over. So we're just gonna make smaller loops in the middle and fold it back. And we're just going to keep folding. And I'm following the size of my loops as I go. So I have the same size loops. And we'll fold that back and fold that back. And now I'm going to just bring up my bow dabra bow wire and grab the wire from this side, bring it in. I'm going to pull it through. Oops, let's make sure I have both ends. Okay, I'm gonna pull that through my slip knot, pull it tight while it's still in the bow dabra. And I'm going to separate the ends, bring them around to the back and come back here. And then what I'm going to do is take my USA. I'm just going to lay that down in here and I could have put it in the Bodabra first. I probably should have done that, 
but I didn't. So we're just going to very simply tie this onto the back of our wreath and or swag or whatever you want to call it. And now I'm going to just fluff everything out. And we'll bring this this way, that way, and we'll just fluff all of our loops. And once you've finished fluffing, you have this beautiful swag that's super simple to make. And we're just going to bring it around here. And isn't that just so pretty and so super simple? Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.